Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of my Iron Man series. I'm sorry this one took a little bit uh, to get out. As you guys know, I did post all of those loot videos, and they basically took a pretty long time. That Winter Todd one took forever. So the start of this video is just showing everything from Winter Todd. It's like a minute and a half, and the rest of the video is me working towards maxing again, since you guys have been asking it for so long, uh, doing green dragons, and actually doing clue scrolls. Um, if you guys know, I haven't really done any clues, so I need to start doing those to get some items for a uh, future God Wars dungeon and stuff. So, hope you guys do enjoy this video, and I will see you in the first clip. So, seeing as, like, the entire last video was just me updating you guys on Winter Todd, I don't want to do that with this video as well. So, um, I, on this clip, I did get 400 mil total XP, which is a really, really cool milestone uh, for the account overall. Also, at 676 kills, um, the next update will either be once I finish this at 1k or if I get the pet, because, as I said, I do not want to... Uh, put too much content from this showing you guys the kills so i'll see you when either of those two happen oh shit let's go boys we just got the tome oh my god finally holy crap 806 kills finally got the tome um i honestly have no idea how much this is even worth now it's probably really bad but oh man it's just finally nice to finally get it let's go guys let's fucking go dude holy shit Oh my god, we just got pet on the same crate. Let's fucking go, guys. <laughs> oh shit, Phoenix on probably about 760. I'm sorry for freaking out about this, but I really wanted this pet and it's been 800 freaking kills, guys. We got the Phoenix, let's go. So now I'm insuring both my pets because I still haven't insured my Snakeling. Um, when I got, actually got my Snakeling pet, I decided to cut out the reaction because I was screaming, and I didn't really want to put it in the video, but for this one, I figured I might as well, since you guys did ask me not to cut those out. Um, also, I did say that I got it on the same crate. What I meant to say was the same inventory. I was kind of freaking out, not really thinking straight, because I don't really have many pets, as you guys can see. That was only my second pet. So I'm going to continue doing Wintertime now. By the time this video is out, you guys will probably have seen the 1k loot, so I'm just going to go over it very briefly, but I'll see you guys once I finish 1,000 kills. And there is 1,000 kills finally done. Now I can get back to doing what everybody wants for me to continue freaking maxing. I did manage to get 27.4 mil fire making XP from these 1,000 kills, which got me to around 40 mil fire making XP. Uh, so that's really nice for ranks after I max. So now I'm just going to be going over all the items I got really quickly, like very quickly. You guys can go watch the loot video if you want. Um, I got a lot of logs, a lot of seeds, and a lot of ore. Uh, so these are all going to be very, very helpful. If you guys want to go and see some numbers on that, um, on what the XP is, go ahead and check out the loot video. Um, I did actually get two tomes and a pet as well, and two full sets of pyromancers, so uh, that's all the loot. You guys can pause this if you want to look at it more. Now what I'm going to do is uh, heading over to Green Dragon, so I'll see you guys in the next clip to explain what I'm going to be doing with that. So now that we are done doing all the loot videos, I can finally get back to uh, finishing out and maxing. Um, I did tell you guys that I was going to be doing Myth Drags, but I decided to just go ahead and finish out maxing. Uh, and do myth drags after since a lot of you guys keep asking me uh, to just max already. So I'm going to be doing that really quickly. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, so as you guys see, I did set up a range counter here. I should get around like 6 mil XP or something from blowpiping uh, green dragons. This is the inventory setup I use if you guys were curious. And I am using the blowpipe with void. So at this point, I've actually done a 1,000 kills already. Um, I did start out at zero, but I did a 1,000 uh, between today and yesterday, which really isn't that much. But I do have classes, so I'm trying to do as much as I can. So um, I guess I'll update you guys once I hit maybe 5 or 10k bones. I don't want to make this too repetitive, so it's probably going to be 10k. And then I'll update you guys again once I finish all the bones I need, which is around 17,000. So hopefully I can get that, that down pretty quickly. Um, it will get me 99 crafting from all of the green dehydes, and then basically all is left is herb lore. So um, I'm just going to continue killing some green dragons, and I guess I'll update you guys at 10k. Alright guys, so this is going to be pretty random. I decided to go ahead and do this because after max I do want to do some bossing. And I do need these blessings for doing GWD. It'll make my life a lot easier. So I decided to start doing clues. As you guys know, um, I have zero clues done. And I've never done a clue on RuneScape before. So this is actually my first clue that I've ever done. Um, if I get third age from this, I'll probably end up breaking my computer from throwing it across the room. I highly doubt it's going to happen. But let's go ahead and open the first loot crate ever. That's actually not that bad. 1.4 mil from my first ever clue. Uh, I'll take that, nothing really that good, but <laughs> it actually was worth it, guys. So I'm going to be doing clues from now on, so um, it'll be broken up. Um, since I told you guys I'll see you at 10k kills, I'll probably just be showing clue scrolls up until I have that many. So I'll see you guys once I finish my second hard clue scroll. 
So here is the second heart, and don't worry, I'm not going to be talking like this over all of them. I just wanted to mention on this one really quickly, I didn't realize how good Guthix's Dehyde boots were, because uh, as you guys know, I don't do clues, so I really didn't even know what they were. But now they're really nice for me because I'm doing green drags, and I don't have ranger boots, so uh, yeah, those are very nice. And of course, you guys are probably like, this dude's a fucking idiot for not knowing, and yeah, but uh, say that to the third age I'm about to get on this clue. Son of a bitch. Alright, here comes something good. Ooh, Zami Coif. That's actually not that bad. I'll take that. Hard clue number four. Ooh, Sarah Plate Legs. Nice. Oh, let's fucking go, guys. And a Master. What the fuck? Master and a Blessing. I don't know which Blessing this is. Hold up, give me a second. Damn, so sadly it's uh, a Guthix like I figured. So uh, from what I can think, it's not really going to be that useful. I mean, it is a plus one prayer bonus, which is pretty nice, but... Uh, it's just cool to get a blessing. Hopefully the next one is something useful. Uh, so I'm actually just going to be talking over myself doing this master clue. Um, I decided to go ahead and do it since I'd probably end up getting more from doing hard clues anyway. So I didn't want to let it sit in my bank and be a waste. One thing I did want to mention is I actually don't know why I didn't say this, but if you guys are wondering why I just jumped to doing clues, you're probably thinking I'm not doing green dragons. Um, for those of you that don't know, green dragons actually do drop hard clues. So um, when I'm doing green dragons for 99 prayer, I am just doing all of the hard clues that, that I get as drops. So uh, when you guys are seeing all these clues, um, I am still killing green dragons uh, between them. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, like I said, I don't know why I didn't say anything about it uh, earlier. So... Uh, here's the master clue. Um, it's going pretty well so far, getting pretty close to the end. Hopefully I don't get screwed by having to give the bard some crazy item I don't have. So the fifth step to this master clue, I actually have to go and kill black knights. Uh, for the second one on there, I need to get the white armor, which is around 700 or 800 kills. So I figured I'm just going to go ahead and kill 1,300 of these and finish up the Fally Elite Diary. Um, it gives me an excuse to finally finish it. I'll get like 50k herb XP out of it as well. So uh, I guess Master Clues are really nice for um, making me finish stuff. So I'm going to go and kill all of those pretty quickly. I think it should take maybe two or three hours. And I'll see you guys back uh, once that is done. And probably show you guys the reward from the Elite Diary. So there is the 1,300 kills finally done to get the White Knight Master. Um, I only needed 800 for the uh, Master Clue, but I figured I'd, like I said, finish it off for the Diary. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the Diary really quickly. I have two more things I need to do, which are both also very quickly. Uh, perform a Skill Cape Emote and Mix a Cerebrus. So I can do those very quickly, so I'll see you guys once I uh, finish it and get the reward. All right, so there is the Falador Diary completely done. Um, about to get this nice herb lamp. Also, I got all of the armor I needed to complete the master clue. So let's go ahead and get this very nice herb reward. I think it's 50k. I can't really remember. Let's see. There's some nice 50k herb XP. Um, I haven't really mentioned this yet, but I do want to try to finish as many of these diaries um, as I can to get as much herbal XP as possible. But um, right now, what I'm going to be doing is actually finishing the master clue. Um, I have the three step, as you guys have seen, and all of them are pretty fast. So. Um, I think I'll begin recording again once I complete that, if I get a next step or not. Uh, hopefully it's the casket, because I'm kind of scared to get something that I don't have or can't do, so I'll see you guys once I finish this, uh, step. Alright, so here is the Master Clue loot. I ended up having to do seven steps. I had to do the Zora puzzle, and I had to give this guy the Lava Dragon Bones next. I was pretty scared on this, um, would have sucked if I wasn't able to finish it, so... Here's the first Master Clue reward. Hopefully it's something good, so I'm more motivated to continue doing these. Ah, <sighs> well, there's that, guys. Okay, so sadly I don't have the reaction for this because the recording got really screwed up, but I did manage to get a holy blessing uh, from the 8th hard clue, so um, I really want these blessings. That and the pages are the whole reason I'm doing hard clues, so it's nice to uh, get that. Hopefully I can get something good from the next one as well. Because another hard clue. Ooh, Bando's page. That's the first page. Uh, on the account and some more charge scrolls. So there's the first page. Oh, Sarah page. Let's go guys uh, Sarah page two on clue number 17 Ooh, Bando's coif um, Oh, and a master clue guys. Um, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna try to do this master clue. Let's go for it Well, this came to an end pretty quickly. So we are on step number Three I can't complete it because one of these steps on here being the first one I have to wear three Guthix items and talk to Juna. Um, I only have two right now, so I'm basically just going to put this in my bank, and hopefully I can get another Guthix item from doing the hard clues, uh, and then we'll get back to finishing this master. Zimrock page, boys, let's go. Um, I think this is the best book to get, um, at least from what I've heard, 
And seeing as the price on it, I'd assume it is. So there is another page. Um, hopefully I can get a page to some other book. I think I have this Sarah and Bando's page now. All right, so here is the update you guys have probably been waiting for. Um, I did say I was going to do around 10k kills, I think. Um, what I actually decided to do was bank 96 prayer. Um, if you guys don't know, um, at certain prayer levels, you actually get more uh, prayer points per dose. So uh, say you get like 10 if you sip a prayer pot. Um, it's at a, a higher level, you'd get 11. So uh, 96 is the final one where I'll get one more prayer point per dose. So I'm going to be doing that before continuing on because it will help me in the long run. So um, like I said, I have banked 96 in the bones and the unsold heads. Um, also with the clues, I believe I have done around 22 of them right now. Um, I can show you guys some of the stuff I have in this tab. Uh, there's some random stuff in here, but uh, three pages, um, some coifs, and two blessings, which is pretty good for the amount of clues I've done. Um, I'm going to continue doing those all the way till uh, the 17k bones I need. But right now, what I'm going to be doing is actually using up all my dragon bones. Um, I think that should get me to, yeah, it should. It should get me to 95 before I have to use the insult head. So I'm going to go ahead and train some prayer, and I'll see you guys once I get the first level in a pretty long time. So I'll see you guys then. So here is 95 prayer. Um, I'm at like maybe 800 bones left, so I'm going to have to go and use the insult heads after this to finish out getting to 96. I'm going to keep this pretty short. I'll see you guys once I reach 96 prayer. Um, I'm not too sure what prayer level you actually need to get to 126 combat, but I know it's like between 96 and 98 or something. I don't think it's 98, but it actually might be. So I'll see you guys once I hit 96. Lucky for me, I actually calc this perfectly. Um, I had like one installed head left over. Something would be kind of annoying if I had to go back and get more D-bones uh, just to get this level. But there is 96 prayer. Like I said, sadly not 126 combat, but we should be able to get there soon. So um, only five levels left, guys. Gonna be grinding out prayer pretty much uh, for the whole next video as well. Um, what I'm actually gonna be doing right now is taking a little break because uh, I want to watch a new Netflix series and gaining some easy levels. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second. Uh, but that's basically going to be the end of the video, so I'll be back at the bank to show you what I'm talking about in a second. So what I'm going to be doing now is actually using up all my grapes. If you guys didn't know, they introduced um, jug packs you can buy. Uh, so I was able to buy around 50k jugs in maybe like a half an hour. Um, so I do have all these grapes left over from Zora, and this will get me probably about 9 mil cooking XP. Um, it's pretty AFK, and of course I do want to get up some ranks after I max, so um, it actually won't take that long. Probably take like a day and a half, and I'm going to be doing that right now while I'm watching... Uh, a series so i'll tell you guys more about that in the next video thank you guys for watching um i'll try to get the next video out soon but as you guys know uh, this one took a while to get out because i'm doing prayer and i have to do school and everything like that so it might take a while but uh, after max i do plan to post videos very regularly of pvm content so if you guys are looking forward to that uh as always thank you guys so much for watching the video and i will see you in the next one